Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Thought I would pick up the camera and vlog today. Just made the bed, kids are already playing outside. It's such a gorgeous day. I have a few things that I wanna do today. How does that sound go? I had a lot of things to do today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. <laughs> Something like that, I don't remember exactly. But um, I am gonna do the hair, do my skincare right now, make myself a coffee. We already had breakfast and I wanna do, I know I just, did a dip fill nail video but the gel nail polish a lot of it started to chip or like start to peel off at the tips so I went ahead and peeled all of them off I'm that person I didn't peel it off my natural nail I have the dip fill underneath do not recommend peeling off gel off your natural nails so what I want to do today is go in with a dip powder and create like a French tip colored tip using dip powder instead because gel on top of dip powder can be really tricky even if you buff it down. So that's what I want to do today's video. I kind of did like a little test run yesterday to see how it would work. I'm not a professional. I'm just going to show you how I did it and talk about that. First things first, let me go ahead and wash my face. I usually wash my face with water in the morning and then I kind of keep my skincare pretty simple. I do like to use serums here and there. This is one that I've been using for the past couple months and I do really like it. It's the Nice and Wide Glow Serum from Glow Recipe. It just smells like a Jolly Rancher. I like it and then lately what I've been using is the Rejuvenate Advanced Multipeptide Youth Cream right here. Randomly stumbled across it on Amazon. It has a great blend of ingredients, different peptides, things like that. It was something that I was personally looking for. It's from the brand Dr. or no, Balshi MD Dermaceuticals. I read some of the reviews and I was like, this sounds really good. So I've been using it for a few weeks now. I feel, do feel like with products like this, it takes quite some time to like truly see results. But I do feel like creams like that have a lot of benefits for the skin. So I've just been using it, testing it out. And so far, I really like it. I use it every morning, every evening. And I don't know, I've been liking it. And then I top it off with a moisturizer. Wait, no, this is my night one. I love Akira moisturizers. I used to use the 12-hour facial moisturizer, same color. Very similar tubing, just a little bit slimmer before I bought this one, but I ran out of that one and thought, let me try this one. This is the Ultra Hydrating Plant Ceramide Lotion. And I do think it's nice. It's a little thicker than the 12 hour one. So I guess it just depends on your skin, skin, skin needs, skin concerns, all that stuff. I just kind of wanted something, you know, like really hydrating. And then last but not least, I'm gonna apply a tinted sunscreen to my face. I have the one from Elta MD, the tinted one. I think National Sunscreen Day is May 27th, so this video will probably be up before then, maybe. And um, I got mine on Amazon. Elta MD is a great, well-rounded brand. This one is nice because it's not like greasy or anything. It adds the slightest hint of color while still acting as a great sunscreen in my opinion. So I really like the formula. And I think they did a really good job with it. So be sure to shop Amazon for your favorite sunscreens. A lot of times they'll have really great deals on things like that, like National Sunscreen Day. So I'll link this one down below for anybody interested. I do think it's a great sunscreen. And now off to make a cup of coffee, but that's essentially it for skincare for today. For right now, I'm gonna do my brows later because I feel like brows are one of those things where they can like transform your face. take my braid out. I sleep in a braid because I have tape and extensions and if I don't tie them or put them in a braid or anything, they get, they can get like a bit knotted up. Like nothing too bad, but um, very something easy to brush through, but it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's just so much better for them to be in a braid or a ponytail. I recently got the T3 curling iron right here off of Amazon. It was on sale and I partnered with Amazon Beauty where they um, allow me to like pick things throughout the month via a gift card. I don't have to talk about them, but if I love it, I'll talk about it. And this product I actually really like. I've never tried T3 before, any of their, never had any other products. This is my first T3 purchase. It is expensive, but I think it was like on sale for $335, which is insanely expensive. But it comes with interchangeable, we call it barrels right here. So this is the largest one and then it has two others. I haven't used them yet, they're still in the box. 
but I was looking to buy a new curling wand because I wanted one that was one and a half inches for like really loose curls for extensions. And I saw that it was on sale, so I was like, let me try it out. Instead of having three separate curling wands, this is nice because you, you just kind of unlock it, pull it out, switch out the barrel and call it a day. So it's like a three in one type of situation. So I thought that was really cool. I don't feel like it is uh, rough on the hair. It just kind of like literally glides right through the hair. So I do like it so far. I think it's a little bit expensive, probably more expensive than it should be. So I'm just gonna brush these extensions out. How I curl my hair is I usually curl away from my face. So at the half point right here, I will curl away from my face and then I'll curl away from my face in this direction. And that's essentially all that I do. I'll show you guys a few pieces just to demonstrate. I'll grab a section of hair like so, and then I make sure I'm curling away from my face. So I'll start at the top, curl it, let it sit there for a few seconds. And then I will open the clip to allow my hair to pull through and kind of go down the strand of hair. Close the clip, pull it so that it's nice and tight. And I do leave the end out. You can see like the end is out right here. There's like a few inches. And then I open it, let it go. And this is essentially the curl. I'm gonna try another one so you guys can probably get a better idea. So I'll grab a section of hair curl away from the face and what I'll do is I'll start at the top I'll curl a little bit at the top look at all this hair hanging out I'll open the clip slide it down tighten it like meaning I will um, bring it back up open the clasp pull it again tighten it and then literally let it go and it's kind of like a very very loose curl and that's essentially what I've just been doing. This is why I wanted a one and a half inch barrel because it really gives you those super loose curls, like super loose. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of the hair and then show you guys what it looks like. And then when I get to like the halfway point, I start curling in the other direction. So when it comes to curling devices, I do think that it is worth investing in um, you know, like curling wands, hair dryers, just because sometimes with curling wands, if they're made out of a certain material, it can be more damaging. Like I know a lot of people, the Dyson Airwrap, I don't own it, but the technology is definitely there when it comes to not damaging your hair as much, like using the basically air to, it's not really even so much heat to help style the hair. So sometimes it is worth, well actually I do feel like it is worth investing in you know quality hair products if you use them frequently like i do i'll curl my hair several times throughout the week just like touch-ups maybe three times so this is kind of why i wanted to try the t3 and see how it would work and so far i'm really liking it if your hair is flat like right here my hair is super flat sometimes what i like to do is i'll grab a section of hair and then i'll use the curling iron to kind of lift it up like so, hold it for a few seconds, let it go, and it creates like a root lift situation almost. That's just something I've been doing for a very long time. It makes my hair look not as flat. So that is essentially it. With this one and a half inch barrel, I get like those really loose, like Victoria's Secret looking type curls so yeah i just thought i would share that portion of today's video let me go ahead and redo this situation like what is going on here okay perfect timing because my battery is dying so i'm gonna go into the bedroom change my battery and then set everything up to do the dip powder nails change the battery put a little bit of makeup on slap some brows on we are ready to go i'm going to be using the double dip liquid nail kit here i mentioned this in the previous video this essentially has everything that you need to do double to do dip powder other than the actual dip powder and i will be using that same clear transparent powder from amazon as well as the light lavender color from double dip they sent these to me right here as well as this kit and here's what the purple one looks like i think it's like a very pretty very light purple color they have very fine powders i do think they're pretty good quality i don't really have much to compare to since i'm so new to dip i have my window open as well oh look it's pepper <laughs> make sure you have a window open well ventilated area 
Anna recommended in my previous video in a comment to make sure I have a fan to kind of like collect all the dust. I don't have that, so I just have like a this guy right here, a little towel to collect everything, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is well ventilated. So I did want to throw that out there because I do feel like you want to be careful with these kinds of ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of file down a little bit. I do have the dip fill that I did right here, but there might be like some excess gel on the uh, around the cuticles that I didn't get to, so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Okay, this is gonna be like my fourth attempt. The first three were complete fails. I don't know what it was. Yesterday it worked out totally fine, and then today it's just not working out. So I don't think that this method is beginner friendly, but I am, I am committed to like, making this work so what you're gonna do is I do already have a dip base going on by the way in this clear transparent powder I have about two layers or so so you are gonna need a base going on using dip powder for this method and then your last two to three layers are gonna be the tip so there are a few different ways you can do this I saw on YouTube I tried one of the methods and I didn't like how the tip looked so instead what I did is I grabbed the dip base right here and I drew on a French tip to whatever shape that I want. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because it's a clear liquid. But I drew on a tip using the dip base. And then you're going to dip your finger into the colored dip powder at a 45 degree angle. Tap off the excess. Oh, this time it worked. I guess you, add, you don't don't dip your finger in all the way, only dip in the tip. But this is what it looks like, just with the colored tip. Right here, this purple one is very light, so it's kind of hard to see. It's not really like super bright or anything. And then what I'm going to do is add one to two more coats of the transparent dip powder on top. That way when it comes to file it down, I have one to two coats of the transparent powder on top of the purple. And I'm not really going to be filing down any of the purple. So from cuticle to tip, go ahead and apply some of that dip base to your nail. This is why I say it's important to already have a base going on underneath because these are just kind of like the top finishing layers. And then this time dip it into the clear transparent powder. Tap off the excess and this is essentially what it looks like before I brush off the excess. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to kind of sit there before I brush it off. If you want more of an apex, what I recommend doing is instead of starting from the cuticle, start three quarters of the way down, apply the dip base from about a few centimeters away from the cuticle, dip your finger in the transparent powder, then the second time, go all the way down to the cuticle or like a hairline away from the cuticle and apply it from cuticle to tip and then dip your finger in the transparent powder. That way you get more of an apex, which I might do with the rest of the nails. I don't know why I didn't do it this time around. Otherwise, what happens is that your cuticle can end up being too bulky. But I am going to be applying a second layer right now just to make it nice and sturdy and make sure that the nail is not too thin and weak because I did file them down quite a bit when I was shaping them. Okay, I got all the colored tips on. Some of them look better than others. This one looks looking a little bit bulky, but that's okay. We're gonna file it down later. This is when you go in with the next step, which is the activator, and you apply this to the tops. This is what get, hardens it, kind of like dries it down. And then once it's dry, this is where you go in and shape them, buff them, you know, make sure that the tops are nice and smooth, they're not bumpy, anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to use a mixture of a hand file and then this Melody Suzy electric file right here that I got on Amazon just to shape them up a little bit. You do want to be careful to not file away too much of the tip because then you can end up filing away some of the colored purple or whatever color you're using. I do have two layers of transparent powder on top of the purple so I should be fine. But just in case, you know, just be careful. Don't file away too much. Just kind of shape it up a bit. If the cuticles are too thick, the edges, if it got on the skin, anything like that. This is when you're going to go in with the last step, and that is the dip top right here. So you apply the dip top coat to all the nails on top. 
wait two minutes let it dry down touch it to make sure it's not sticky but don't touch it beforehand because otherwise it's going to leave a fingerprint and then once it's dry you can go in apply a second coat and you are essentially done okay they are nice and dry now i'm going to go in a second time i have found that the second time it takes a bit longer to dry so give it a few minutes before touching it and the last step is applying a cuticle oil try to reapply every day if you can i feel like hydrated cuticles are important and i'm just recently realizing how important so this is kind of how i would do a color tip i haven't done this hand yet i'm going to keep these two on because they seem to be staying on well but i did take off these three nails right here so i'm going to do these off camera finish them up while the kids are busy and continue with this vlog nails are all done i'm going to go ahead and I already marinated some chicken for the weekend. I added like all the marinade into it and I'm gonna chop up some vegetables to add in there as well. Just kind of do like kebabs for maybe Saturday, Sunday, I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then probably make lunch. The every plate box came in so I can't remember what recipes are in there but maybe do that next. But let me go ahead and wash the veggies, chop them up, all that good stuff. These knives from Walmart are amazing. I got them a few years ago, actually. They're holding up so well. I think mainly because they're one full piece, so they're not gonna break. You do have to sharpen them once in a while, but such a good set. They're from the brand Time and Table from Walmart. Check them out. I even gifted them to my mom. I think they're such a good set of knives. But I learned this trick on online. I can't remember if it was reels or what, but I'm gonna show you guys how she cut a pepper and it was just so easy. You just basically slice it along the lines. This knife is a little too big to do this, hold on. <laughs> I feel like Kendall Jenner um, cutting that cucumber. <laughs> no shade to her, but that was pretty funny. So just cut it along the lines and then literally break it off. And voila, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cut off these guys right here and such an easy way to clean a bell pepper. <laughs> gonna open the every plate box but I have these two recipes left over from last week so this is the last recipe I'm gonna combine them because I used up the chicken for something else and I only have one pack of chicken left so I'm just gonna kind of like combine them this one's sweet potato and onion this one's just like a regular chicken fajitas take about just 15 more minutes so the last five minutes or so I'm gonna fry up the chicken like all the way I just kind of put it in the pan and turned it off mixed it and turned it off I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this coming week's every plate box I turned on the mop for the robot vacuum to clean the floor so that's the noise that you guys are hearing but I feel like every plate has definitely come a long way since I started using it I think 2019 it was so I've been using it for quite some time I do have credits from like referrals, so that's kind of like what I have been using. When I first started out, they didn't really have any options to swap for like the meats and things like that, but now they have options where you can swap the meat, you can do add-ons, like for example, they have New York style cheesecakes, so you can add New York style cheesecakes, a salad, lar bars for the kids. I don't know if I got any for, yes I did, and the lar bars are actually really good. They are like $3 or something if you want to add it on 
but there's the chocolate brownie which is pretty good but my favorite is the chocolate chip it literally tastes like a chocolate chip cookie so it's called chocolate chip cookie it's just eight ingredients buckwheat flour honey semi-sweet chocolate chips cane sugar coconut oil chia seeds water sea salt and that's it every plate is owned by HelloFresh, if I'm not mistaken, but they're the more like affordable option. So unlike HelloFresh, where everything, uh, each recipe comes in a separate baggie, with every plate they just kind of throw everything in the box, which I don't mind. I just take the box out and put it in the fridge. But for this week, I got barbecue pineapple pepper jack flatbreads, and then I added chicken breast strips to this recipe. That actually sounds really good. Some Southwest rajas quesadillas, rajas quesadillas sounds delicious with ground beef creamy peppercorn salmon and then saucy cumin lime chicken tacos i personally love their taco recipes i feel like they're a great lunch option so let me go ahead and put everything in the fridge and then they comes in like this insulated box with these ice packs on the bottom so you don't have to worry about anything melting this is the box that everything comes in and i just take the box out and literally stuff it in the fridge can't wait to dig in I heated up the tortillas as well and what the recipe says is to place the sweet potato inside but I swapped for chicken so I'm going to place the chicken and just eat the sweet potato on the side. Maybe I'll put like a sweet potato inside just see how it tastes. I feel like they'll be actually delicious. So good. So good. I love the recipes for tacos. It is four o'clock. I'm waiting for a few more packages to come in that I want to show you guys. But right now I'm gonna go outside and pull the weeds around our my peony bushes that I have growing because there's a bunch of weeds that need to be pulled out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then once the packages come in, I'll show you guys. It's just like a few hair things and an Amazon dress that hopefully looks like the picture because it's gonna be deceiving. Sorry, it's a vacuum. Here are my peony bushes. We used to have a flagpole in the middle, but it broke. So I took it down, but look at all these weeds. So this is the before. Let's see how far I get. All done. Feeling accomplished. Cannot wait for these peonies to bloom. It's gonna be so pretty. Made myself an iced matcha and all of my packages came in, so I thought I would share. First one is this guy right here. This is from the brand Way Hair Care. And they came out with a scalp serum. I personally have been loving Way Hair Care. I've tried both Orbe and Way, and I definitely like Way more. I love the detox shampoo, it smells really nice. I use it once a week in place of my regular shampoo. And then I also have their shampoo and conditioner bundle for fine hair. And then I have their hair oil, their leave-in conditioner, and volume spray. And I love all of those products. I think they're really great. I'm not crazy how the shampoo and conditioner smells, like the original one. It just smells very like old school to me. Do not like the smell, but other than that, I really like their actual products. And then I saw on Instagram that they came out with a scalp serum, and I personally love scalp serums. Serums, I have found great success using scalp serums, like especially for the sides of my hair right here. I've been using them for over a year, and I just started seeing like a lot of baby hair growth there ever since using scalp serums. I definitely started notice noticing a difference in like these areas right here. You do have to be consistent and they're not miracle products by any means. They just basically have a lot of great ingredients for the scalp to create an environment for healthy hair growth. Assuming there are no other underlying issues um, going on when it comes to hair thinning or anything like that. So I do think they're just a great, great product to have in hair care overall like I scalp serums are probably hands down one of my favorite hair care products so really excited to try this out it smells really nice I'm not even sure what it smells like it smells a little bit florally and a little overpowering but we will see it just seemed like it had a really great ingredient so really excited to try this one out and then the other hair care product is from Stasi accessories all of my claw clips are from there she has some great accessories for hair care. So I saw that she came out with a pre-wash hair oil. So really excited to try that as well. Basically what it is is a little treatment that you put all over your scalp before you wash your hair. It is formulated to stimulate, heal, and promote hair growth. You apply it before you wash your hair because it is super, like a, a lot of combination of different oils. And then you wash your hair as you regularly do. And that is it. So I'm going to try it as like an overnight treatment as well and just see you just have like a great 
like a bunch of great ingredients. I'll leave the links to them down below because there are some really great exciting products. If you're like me and you just have naturally fine thin hair and you want to take care of it as best as you can, I feel like scalp sprays and hair oils are some great ways to do that. So here's a list of ingredients for the scalp oil right here. This is the list, just a combination of really great ingredients in my opinion. I'm gonna show you guys a dress that I got on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. It was just like a random find. This is the dress. I think it is absolutely gorgeous for being a, an Amazon dress. I went with a size medium based off of reviews on Amazon and I'm definitely gonna exchange it for a size small just because I feel like it's a little bit too loose. Like there's like a lot of fabric here. It's just like hanging. Um, I was afraid that maybe the waist would be too small in a small, which I can probably see. Like right now the waist is perfect, so I don't know, I'll have to read through the measurements. But this portion right here, it's a little bit too loose. For the price, honestly, I feel like it's such a good deal and I love the champagne color. I feel like it's such a great neutral wedding guest dress. And then it has like this um, wrap over style on the bottom. It does need to be ironed and all that stuff. And then this is the bat wing sleeve, one shoulder. Looks so elegant for being like $30 or something. I feel like it's such a great find. So I actually really, really like this dress, but probably gonna exchange it for a size small. Hopefully the waist is not too small in that one. I'll try to order small and then see, maybe update you guys in a future video, but otherwise I think it's such a gorgeous dress. That kind of concludes today's vlog, honestly, because for the rest of the day we're just gonna have dinner later. I'm gonna do my fit on workouts. I started following a program. Let me put my camera down. I purchased the annual membership for fit on because with the annual membership, you get to use like workout programs. So I started doing their slim down to the second one. And it kind of sets out six weeks. Well, depending on the program that you choose, this one is six weeks. And every day it gives you a workout five days a week. So you you go in and you know what workout to do. They're great because it almost feels like you're working out with uh, an instructor, very similar to like the Peloton at home workouts. So I've just been working out at home for a very long time now and I actually enjoy it. I just have a few set of dumbbells and that's about it and that's kind of like all you need when it comes to using the Fit On app. And you can really get your heart rate pumping. Um, you just feel great after, it gets your body moving. So if you're like me, you're a stay at home mom, and it's much more convenient for you to work out at home. I highly recommend trying the Fit On app. You can use the free version where you just choose the workouts yourself. I just opted for the annual membership where it was like, I think I paid like $30. It was like a, a deal they had, maybe even less. And I get to choose like different workouts, um, like different guides. Like this one that I'm doing right now is for six weeks. You finish that, you can choose a different one and just makes it easier because I don't have to go in and choose a workout, everything like, the, it'll do like a leg day, an upper body, a lower body, a full blown workout, and then the fifth day is like more of a stretch and chill kind of workout, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do later today. I will link anything I talked about down below if anybody's interested in shopping anything. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and I will see you guys in future videos.